guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another Dead Walking Dead character profile. And this one is on the Tetinaya guy from Season 3 of The Walking Dead. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is this profile? It's been almost two years, and you come back with this? I do, because I like to start the series back with a bang, okay? So the Tetinaya guy is here. Now, I thought it was a cricket at first, I'm not going to lie. But then I asked Google Gemini what it was, just to, you know, make sure I wasn't being silly. And, you know, and Google Gemini seems to think it's a... Whatever that is, right? That word there. So I searched that, and then I found that the technical term is a Tetinaya guy. Am I saying it right still? I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong. I did look up a video of how to pronounce the word, but... Um, I, I probably forgot at this point, who knows? The Tetiganiadi is of course male or female, I don't know, who, who knows? Uh, its age is... fuck knows? I don't, I, two weeks, two months, who knows? Uh, uh, it first appeared in Clear, season 3. Yeah. The Tetikabudabaru was not born before the apocalypse. Uh, it was actually born during the apocalypse. And it was presumably born in King County, Georgia. In season three, we first see the Tetikanayaga, the, the, the fucking grasshopper, on the wall there. It's crawling up. It's looking pretty sus. Uh, Rick, Michonne, and Carl come around the corner, and it kind of gets a little bit spooked, and it goes up the wall, until eventually the camera pans, and it's out of frame. And that is the last we see of the Tetika de Guy by Bye Bye. Now, it's telling me that adults live for six to eight weeks. I'm guessing the babies don't live that long, though. I don't know. I mean, what does it mean? Do the, the whole creature live for that long? Who knows? But anyway, shit edit. I was looking at bush crickets. A tetika du debu is different. Uh, their lifespan is about a year. But anyway, my point still stands. Based off the timeline of the show, that would mean that the tetika diabide is now uh, deceased, unfortunately. Now, we're unsure if he died of old age. Oh, I'm saying he. We d we're unsure if they died of old age. Or potentially they were eaten by a walker. I mean, that's possible. You never know. The walker might have got hungry. But also, just to let you know, there was a crazy Morgan in the vicinity. So it's also possible that Morgan squashed it after he found that his peanut butter protein bar was stolen. Anyway, thanks for watching. What did you think of the Teddy Kadarik by... Did you like it? Or did you hate its inclusion? And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> April Fools. This series isn't coming back. I'm far too lazy. <laughs> On a serious note, if this video gets 25 likes, it's not a big ask, right? And also, 10 comments that don't include my replies to comments, then I will promise you the Rosita video for July the 1st. There we go. I've set myself that goal. So uh, get on it. 25 likes, 10 comments. Get doing it.